To install the plugin, upload the zip file here. To make the plugin works, you would need to enable this option, and this option, to make it work on mobile if you want. Ajax Endpoint is quite a technical function, in short, it affects the API returning result. Generally, we recommend enabling Ajax only use REST API. If your site can't handle Ajax, this option controls how many times an email address owner can spin the wheel, and this option controls time gap between two consecutive spins of an email. The auto reset spins function resets the total spins of each email to zero, set up for or after how long the function runs, and at what time it should reset with these two options. For example, allow users to spin again every two weeks. First, we'll learn how to create a wheel like this. All the wheel segments are added in the table and wheel settings. Add more segments by cloning them, or remove segments. Drag and drop to change your position in wheel, and check by the preview. Select the prize type for the segment, so when the user rotates and lands on this one, they'll receive prize or not. Edit the wheel label, adjust the text size, and select the text color. If the segment has custom prize fill in the value, and adjust the quantity. Leave the quantity minus one to make it limitless. Each time a customer wins a prize, its quantity will be automatically reduced by one. Probability represents how likely customer is to land on this segment. Total percentage of probability of all segments must be 100%. To change the probability, adjust weight. Now edit each segment color. You can select color manually like this, or set the color automatically for all segments here. Enable option and color is set randomly from predefined sets for each visitor. And make the wheel show fully or partially here. Change the wheel size with this option. Lastly for the wheel configuration, control how long the wheel spins and how many spins per second with these two options. For the wheel pointer, select the position for it with this option. In the center zone of the wheel, you can add image or select color for it, or both. Same for wheel pop-up background. Here you select color for wheel border, and dots on the border. Add an effect for wheel background here, if you want. These options are to customize the text color, content, spin wheel button label, or label color. Select font of text for this content, enable options for customers to hide the wheel. And enable or disable a GDPR checkbox. And that's pretty much it. If there's any extra customization, you can add custom CSS to achieve it here. The wheel pop-up by default can be opened by a pop-up icon. Select a sample icon, adjust its color, and also the background color for the icon. Choose a position. Other than pop-up icon, you can trigger the wheel pop-up in a different way. Select them here. I'll make an example with this option. Show the pop-up after visitors scroll down to 50% of the page. Modify how and when the wheel pop-up will be available again, after being closed with these three options, and decide on which page the wheel will be displayed with these three options. For example, make the wheel only available on home page, then visitors can't see the wheel on any other page, even though they did the action to trigger the wheel. By default, there's always an input field for spinner's email. But you can enable two more fields, name and phone number input fields. The result after spinning can be sent to both spinner and website admin. With spinners, they can receive an email if winning a prizes. Edit email content here. You can add your content, media, or even HTML CSS with the text editor. And use our supported shortcodes for convenience. With this email, there's preview mode to see how the email would look like in real sending. 
The notification when someone wins a prize can be sent to admin as well. You can edit the email to admin here. This field is to add a custom address, which will receive this admin notification. That's it for the emails. Now let's see you we set up message on front end after spinning. There are two types of messages. One for the winner. For this type of message, other than the congratulations, you can also add winning effect. And the other is for unlucky spinners, simply encourage them with a message customized here. Connect to an email marketing service to add the email address to your list. This function is useful. If you're using a platform for marketing email campaigns, our plugin can add the email address after spinning to your email list on these platforms. For future purpose, like when you have marketing campaign, you need credential to connect depend on which platform you use. You may need API or token. Let's make an example with Sendinblue. First, enable this option. Then get the API key in my Sendinblue account. Go to SMTP API key. Let's generate a new one. You can also choose an existed key if you want. After saving, you'll see your email list in this drop-down. Select one you want to add spinners' emails to, henceforth, the new spinner's email will go to this list. Existed spinners' addresses, on the other hand, are not automatically transferred to the list. You would need to add them manually. With Sendablue, they support importing contact via CSV file. And our plugin support function to export information to a CSV file. Simply export the existed email and upload the file here. Done, emails added. This function is to protect your website from spam and abuse. At the moment, we support two versions. V2 requires the user to click a checkbox, indicating they are not a robot, while V3 allows you to verify if an interaction is legitimate without any user interaction. You need site key and secret key to use this function. I'll make an example with V2. The email addresses of all spinners are saved here, along with their other information, like their first time spinning, name phone number, how many times they spin, last spin date, the wheel segment label, and the coupon code when they won. When an email reaches the limit of how many times it can spin, system will send a spam warning. In that case, you need to remove that email address in this list to allow them to spin again. Also ensure to remove them in the trash bin as well.